What's up guys, it's Shrek, and today we're working with the Monkey Mods kit. That kit is of course the Galil kit. This is going to go on the back, this is going to go on the front. All of these bits are going to combine and concatenate into the top rail to make something that looks really, really cool. We've got a bunch of different actual practical rails in various lengths and sizes out the wazoo, as well as some custom bits and bobs of this variety. This looks like if it wasn't a 3D printed solid piece, it would be an adjustable site. However, it is fixed. This is kind of funky, kind of cool, and will nest inside a worker barrel. So, what strife are we going to use? Well, I thought about painting it, but I've already got the scar, which is full auto and very tactical. So I figured we would just use the latest iteration of strife for this kit. Without any more talking about it, we have to actually dissect our modified strife really quick so that we can add the, uh, the default worker kind of slip here, or I guess this is the F10555 slip, but we'll be adding that in lieu of the actual practical barrel, and that's going to make it much easier for us to install the kit. So let's get at it. Uh, we're going to have to take it apart first, but this should be a very exciting puzzle to put together. Alrighty guys, so this is the beating heart of our Galil kit. You can see here that everything's been rewired with 16 gauge silicone wire. Uh, these are cyclone wheels. I really, really dig the cyclone wheels and they are inside an artifact red cage. I do not know how that combination is going to work quite yet, but I crony tested it and I was getting pretty happy numbers. I'm using Aussie uh, spec 3S motors in this one. Uh, the old, old ones. The uh, the prototype ones actually. They, uh, they don't even have labels on them. Then down here you can see I've got my super clicky switch set up uh, that I've been using uh, again, everything set in polysilicate solution here. Epoxy putty is just as good, but that's just what I use. And then if I flip this over, let's kill the soldering iron first. You can see that it's already been wired up with an XT60 connector. And then up here we just have a thumb screw already installed in the jam door, which has been reamed out on the side. If any of that seems confusing, I've done this so many different times at this point that uh, I've started referencing my Sanguine's description guide uh, because that kind of gives a list of all the materials used, parts, where to find them, what to use, etc., etc., and so forth. But that's the beating heart. Let's get into the exciting part of this video, which is actually building the kit. Alrighty guys, so this is the Galil kit. There didn't seem to be any sense in adding inbus sights to it, nor did I want to throw in a red dite because the profile here, and hopefully you guys can see this on camera, is actually very clean, very cool. Now, the uh, blaster is wired up with Aussie 3S motors, which means we have to use the 3S that normally lives inside Lazarus here, but plenty of room for it. Should not be too terribly tight a fit even though we did not mess with the battery tray hardly at all. Now, sometimes these lipos can be a real pain to get inside, but that one wasn't that bad at all. So let's uh, tighten this thumb screw down. That was the only real addition that I put on this kit. And then we will throw in a tactical magazine because it's worth it. And we're getting relatively snappy spin up times, but overall the aesthetic of this kit is very, very nice. I threw on a worker foregrip because while this was okay, I like this much, much more. And the stock is adjusted to my length, which makes the Galil a pretty rifle sized blaster here. Now that is a do -re mi magazine, which explains the spread, but we're definitely doing damage to the blaster board's target there. Looks like we have Koosh Koosh and then Busby Dart. And off into the wild blue yonder, but uh, 
long spin down times, but a very comfortable blaster, a very tactically cool looking blaster. And because it is not painted, uh, still shows off the kind of modulus feel and aesthetic of the blaster. Uh, not too much to say about that. We have completely cut off our access from the jam door, so any jams must be repaired from the magwell, but it's not really difficult to do on these strife builds. There's plenty of room here to add like flashlight holders, but the flash hider specifically for the Galil kit looks great. The barrel comes out and then this kind of all disassembles like a puzzle piece if you need it to, but it uh, tightens down very nicely to cinch the whole kit together. This is of course a worker folding stock and it snaps around like that. Now I might be replacing this with a fixed tube just because this is not super duper different when slung and uh, the thumb screw is kind of getting in the way of the full utility of this kit. Uh, don't pay any attention to that. All I have to say about that Nemesis is that it's going ghost. Most of you are too, uh, too young to get that reference. Oh no, we didn't even lock this down. That's crazy, so we should actually tighten our thumb screw in to the set screw in the blaster. But uh, very, very happy with this kit. I think that aesthetically it is incredibly nice. As far as value per price goes, it's not a very expensive body kit since there are not a whole lot of prices. I think that it's uh, not prices, pieces. I think that it is very fairly priced over from my friends at Monkey Mods and you can pick it up there. It is again a worker kit, but that's where I choose to get almost all of my worker stuff and I'm very, very happy with it. If you want this one specifically, I'm probably going to be offering it up to my patrons as either the October Blaster or if they'd rather have the Prophecy Kit, we may revisit it later. Uh, if none of that happens, it will eventually find a home on eBay as I just don't need more tactical strife builds. But before that happens, I have a very special video planned that I want to make with it. I think that it is a really handsome kit. Uh, completely changes the overall look and feel of the blaster and then I mean obviously if somebody wanted to come in and build a black strife to go with this it would look pretty gnarly like very very Galil rifle-esque as is it looks like a nerf Galil which is exactly what I was going for but thank you guys very much for watching hopefully you enjoyed watching this thing come together I love puzzling these guys together and I really hope that you guys appreciate the content as well leave me a comment down in the comment section below telling me which body kit or real steel firearm you think would look really great with a strife wrapped inside it but uh thank you guys very much for watching as always much love nerf on Drek out.